Fort Park is building the UK's new tallest and fastest roller coaster. It's going to be 236 feet, reaching speeds of over 80 miles per hour. So much has been done this week, and until today's update, here's what they've done so far. Oh, it's getting exciting now. Let's go see what Hyperia looks like today. You're watching Ride Comparisons and welcome back to our weekly Hyperia update. We're fresh off the plane from Gran Canaria and of course the first thing we had to do was come down here and get a Hyperia update. Whilst we were away, so much has been happening so today's going to be a very good update. It's quite windy so I'm not sure if they're going to be doing anything today. We did see two cranes as we drove past so hopefully there's something exciting to see along with everything that we've missed so far. So let's dive in. We got some bad weather today, luckily it's not raining at the moment but the Monk's Walk is quite slippery. One thing I do want to mention guys, because we were away and obviously missed it, Nemesis at Alton Towers has now started testing. It's been fully refurbed, fully retracked, and they've got to run through quite a lot of tests before opening day. If you missed it, it was on the BBC, so let's take a look. Nemesis has been completely rebuilt and taken on a brand new look. And after a year and a half of hard work, many of those involved gathered to watch as the cars took to the track for the very first time. It feels absolutely incredible. I mean, what a milestone um, to be here today to actually see it. So it was so incredibly important for us to bring it back to, to you know, to Nemesis Reborn um, and to give it new life for generations, for new generations of thrill seekers that are going to come to the park. Well, the entire track of Nemesis is absolutely brand new. And so are the cars as well, although a tiny bit of the old ones have been recycled in them. As for the testing, well, that will now continue until Nemesis reopens to the public later this year. Nemesis originally opened in 1994, but after almost 30 years of operation, the ride was coming to the end of its life. So Alton Towers had to decide whether to get rid of it or reinvent it. As someone who grew up in Nemesis, as passionate about both the nostalgia of it, but also the future of bringing it back to life, having Nemesis reborn uh, for the 2024 season, I'm super proud to be part of that and to also make sure that I put my utmost into delivering the best it can possibly be. Like every new ride, Nemesis will have to go through a meticulous testing regime, running thousands of times through different scenarios before anyone is allowed to ride on it. She's obviously shedded her skin, so, you know, it's nice to see it come back alive. We've made some advancements in the in the running rails so that we've, we've quieted the runner rails down to be of a smoother experience through there, but... As we've seen today, the, the roar is definitely still there. The original ride travelled over 800,000 miles during its life, the equivalent of 32 times around the world, and carried more than 52 million people. It's hoped when Nemesis Reborn opens, it will be just as popular for generations to come. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands today, Alton Towers. There we are guys, how cool is that? Nemesis is back, even though they tried to make it more quiet, it's still got its iconic roar. A lot of people did say that it looks a little bit sluggish at the moment, but you gotta remember, it is cold, we're still in winter, 
and it's only just started testing. So hopefully when it opens, it'll be back to its former glory. Now, as you know, Fort Park did recently close Angry Birds Land. They're changing it to the Big Easy Boulevard and revamping the park. But we did find somewhere else you can go. If you want to check out that vlog, it will be at the end of the video. See, even though Angry Birds Land has closed at Fort Park, we found somewhere else where you can go. And Grand Canaria, it's a lot warmer than it here at the moment. So definitely go and check out that one, guys, if you missed the Angry Birds Land. Now, we're about to get down to the Hyperia construction site. So we're going to switch over to the phone for some better shots. Let's start the update. Here we go. So starting at the back of the maintenance bay, guys, they got some temporary steps there and as you can see some internal work's been done so they got some lighting in there ready for the uh, arrival of the trains pretty soon hopefully before we start the update guys i just gotta say look who we bumped into hello how's it going feel good yeah not bad not bad so what do you think do you think hyperia is going to be good yeah i haven't been down here since well it's my obviously I'm down here now <laughs> i haven't been down here since they finished the immelman and uh, i've well, considered since the start of the update you show it and it's so I can't wait to see the lift hill go up and then that drop as well. Uh, it's going to be the best in the UK by mile. Yeah, I agree. I reckon it will be the best. It's going to destroy Icon, as we say, 100%. It'll destroy anything in this country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Same goes. <laughs> Oh, it's so slippery. Oh, wow. Here we go. So as you can see, guys, the transfer track has been completed. This will be putting the trains into the maintenance bay here to maintain them, keep them dry keep them in good shape and also as you can see the outer bank out of the station has now been completed so as soon as you come out of the station you'll be bending to the left here and then going straight into the lift hill which it doesn't look like started yet unfortunately having a look over there now you can see the merch shop they've got a lot more work on that and there's a few more trees and stuff dotted around if we look over here you can see that the uh, half loop or Immorman, Im I think it's called, has now been completed along with a little bit more of the stall. Okay, so balancing in the tree now, guys, it's quite windy, so you might not be able to hear me. As you can see, as we mentioned before, the Immorman is now complete. The stall can't yet be completed because they need to do the lift hill supports and then it will sort of join onto that. A lot more of the stall has been done there, as you can see. And then here will be the end of it here. If you see that white track, that's going to be the bottom of the drop. Now today it looks like they're doing some supports over here. They've just put one in as we're speaking. They've got some brown supports there. And I believe these supports are gonna uh, connect up to the uh, drop there. And then we get some more lift hill supports in. They can finally finish the uh, lift hill, the drop and the stall. And then I believe after that, it will be time for trains to arrive. They're all sort of discussing there right now. Nice and busy despite the weather. We've also got a white support and some white track over there, as you can see. So waiting in the tree a little bit longer to see if anything exciting is happening. We've got two cranes on the go, as we said when we drove past. One's just sort of lifting some planks here. I'm not overly sure what they're doing with that. And then we've got the other one over here that's actually lifting some supports. I think they're about to put one in. Just getting it all ready. They got the cherry picker there, so they're probably getting ready to stick that support in now. As you can see, you've got these two little supports here that are going to sort of go up here towards the drop. So it looks like the drop is going to be the next part of the ride to be completed. Oh my God, they're lifting wood. Oh, they've taken the straps back off that support. Maybe they didn't want to do that one today. So with today's update, guys, it looks like it's going to be the drop that's going up next. So there we are guys, that brings us to the end of the video unfortunately. Quite a good update today, a lot more is going to be happening over the next week. I reckon next update we're going to start seeing the drop pretty much completed and they're going to be starting the lift hill. It was really nice to bump into Digital Dan, hello if you're uh, watching. Uh, he's actually a really 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 nice guy in person so that was a really good highlight today, that sort of made my day. If you did enjoy today's vlog guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.